In the days that followed, Cherry thought about her crush. She took a chocolate and she remembered her father saying that the boy who gave her chocolate was probably waiting for an answer. So she ate the chocolate and she blushed as Sheed appeared in her thoughts. A few days later we see Sheed in school and he noticed that Nu was walking behind him. She told him that last night they captured a member of the cult of Diablos and they found out that the Corps was brainwashing their members. A day before Sheed learned that Hiro had registered him for the Bushi tournament. He didn't want to participate and punched his friends in the stomach because all they thought about was impressing girls. She didn't want to take part in the tournament and Nu told him that the Diablos were kidnapping cult orphans and brainwashing them into becoming members. Additionally, he learned that the Shadow Garden name was being spread to lure their organization out. Then she realized that he wanted to take part in the Bushy tournament to demonstrate his role as a background character. Afterwards, she remembered her life before she was turned into a monster. She was grateful that Shadow had saved her. In the following days, the preliminary rounds of the Bushy tournament began and Claire defeated her opponent. Meanwhile, many students were betting on the fights and Sheed's friends lost almost all their money on the bets. They remembered that Sheed participate on the fights and wished him good luck. Then the battle of school council president rose. The princess of the Orion kingdom against Sheed began. Sheed was ready to give a great performance to prove that he is the best ordinary background character he practiced every day to get his performance flawless. A short time later his fight started and Sheed began to attack his opponent. So he waited for the perfect time and he bit down on a bag of ketchup. He intentionally let Rose hit him and feigned serious injury. He showed his secret background character Bloody Tornado, so he was defeated and he was proud to have shown a perfect performance as a background character. Suddenly Sheed got up again because he hadn't shown all of his secret background character techniques yet. Sheed planned to use all of his 47 background techniques, and he attacked Rose again. At that moment, he waited for the right moment again and was defeated countless times. Rose didn't understand why he didn't want to give up. Before Rose could use her strongest technique, the referee saved Sheed so he wouldn't die. Rose Orion was declared the winner, and Sheed was sad because he couldn't show all the background character techniques. Later, his friends lost their last savings, and Sheed hoped that at some point, he would be able to show off his remaining background character techniques. Suddenly Cherry appeared and she didn't know who she was. She invited him to tea and she said that she had seen his impressive fight. Then she gave her homemade cookies and she replied that they can start as friends. Sheed was confused and he spotted Professor Luther Barnett. He knew that the science teacher previously won the title of champion at the Bushin Festival. Therefore, Sheed was surprised that he is Cherry's father. After that, She'd learned that Cherry is dedicated to her research and has no friends for that reason. Luther asked Sheed to take good care of Cherry and he just played along. In the evening, Cherry thought about Sheed and she planned to visit Sheed in the hospital room. She remembered that Alexia was in a relationship with him and she planned to visit her. Meanwhile, Alexia enjoyed delicious sweets and an iced coffee from Starbucks. Suddenly, Cherry appeared at her door and Alexia asked if she wanted to come into the room. Alexia learned that Cherry likes to drink her coffee with sugar, and she enjoyed the sweet coffee. Then Alexia wondered why Cherry came to visit her. Cherry asked about the relationship status between Alexia and Sheed. Alexia told her that they broke up, and Cherry was very happy. This is how Alexia found out that Cherry had feelings for Sheed, and had been given chocolate as a gift. Alexia was shocked to hear the news, and Cherry thanked her for the coffee. Five days passed, and Sheed was allowed to go back to school. Nothing changed in his life and he secretly trained his grip strength. Suddenly, school council president Rose showed up in his classroom and she was surprised to see him again. Then we see the cult of Diablos and one of the core members activated a magical artifact. So the Midgar school was enveloped in a mysterious barrier and she'd noticed that something was wrong. Alexia was also allowed to go back to school and she wondered why the school was locked down. She discovered that the employee in charge had been killed. Meanwhile, Sheed found out that he couldn't use magic and he wondered if the other students sensed it. Sheed heard footsteps and masked thugs appeared, posing as members of Shadow Garden. They said they would take over the school, but student council Rose refused. Following this, the enemy began to attack her, but Rose couldn't control her magic. As a result, the enemy was able to defeat her and she was almost killed. At the last moment, Sheed played the typical background character and sacrificed his life to save Rose. Rose couldn't believe that Sheed had sacrificed his life for her, and she was horrified. The reason Sheed sacrificed his life was because he wanted to prove that he was the perfect background character. Suddenly Rose cried and she thought that Sheed sacrificed his life because he loves her. 
Following this, Rose was ordered to surrender and she was grateful that she'd saved her life. Later, all the students were gathered in the auditorium and they served the criminals as hostages. Sheed was an overpowered main character and he secretly revived himself by infusing magic into his heart. As a result, he successfully managed to revive himself and was proud that he was able to use his background character technique, 10 minute heartbreak. Afterwards, he realized that his magic was still affected, but he somehow managed to use magic. Then we see Cherry and she found out more about the cult of Diablos' magical artifact. Cherry didn't notice that they were being attacked at school by criminals, and Rex appeared in the room. Rex introduced himself and said that he planned to take the pendant with him because his boss demanded it. Following this, he intended to kill Cherry, but Vice Commander Glenn fender it off his attack. He was impressed that his opponent was able to block his attack even without magic. Then Rex learned that he was fighting Glenn, the Vice Commander of the Crimson Order, and Marco ordered Cherry to run away. Meanwhile, Sheed observed the situation and discovered that the knights outside were trying to break the barrier. He liked the event and planned to prepare for his performance as Eminence of Shadow. But one thing bothered him because the criminals didn't dress aesthetically. He complained that black clothes was his style and he got angry. Then he started killing some of the criminals and he used his slime as a sniper to take out the enemies. Then she discovered that there was a pink-haired girl in the building and he knew that Cherry was an innocent girl. So he decided to help her and he eliminated the enemy. Cherry was planning to go to her father's office, and Sheed was looking forward to his appearance as Shadow of Eminence. Then Cherry remembered Rex's words, and she wanted to solve the mystery of the artifact. Sheed protected her from the shadows, and she didn't realize that many enemies discovered her. Then she continued walking and she stumbled when she reached a staircase. At the last moment, Sheed caught her and gave her the artifact. Cherry was worried because he was injured, but he said he was fine. Sheed later realized that Cherry was the main character of this story arc, and he decided to assist her as a background character. Suddenly she found a book, and she learned that the artifact is called Eye of Vegapunk, which has the ability to block magic. She told Sheed that the user can program the frequency so that allies can continue to use magic. Additionally, she said that a person with infinite riz could still use magic despite being activated. Suddenly Cherry said that she got a plan to deactivate the enemy's artifact. She told him that they need to get close enough to the enemy and that there is a tunnel under the school. Unfortunately, she didn't have the tools to decode the artifact, but Sheed offered to get her the tools. Meanwhile, Rex reported that knights have gathered outside the school. His boss wasn't interested in the knights and was angry because Rex couldn't get the artifact. Before he went off, he warned his boss that some members had been defeated. Afterwards, Rex went to look for Cherry, but his allies disappeared. He was confused and Sheed appeared in front of him. Suddenly Rex was attacked and he activated his special ability. He was sure that no one could defeat him in his magical barrier, but he had no chance against Sheed. So he was attacked and Rex didn't have time to react. When he was in a schoolroom, he realized that Sheed was playing with him and he didn't understand what happened. Finally, Sheed appeared out of nowhere and he finished him off. A short time later we see Nu and she discovered the defeated Knights of the Crimson Order New sensed a person, and she was surprised to see her master shadow. Sheed was told that only the seven shadows were able to fight, and Gamma was the only one present, who unfortunately had no combat skills. But Gamma suspected that they would soon be able to use magic again, and Nu said that they would remain on standby without an order from Shadow. Then Nu helped her master find all the tools, and he told that he plans to neutralize an artifact. Nu was surprised to learn about the artifact, and she admired Master Shadow. Meanwhile, Iris and her knights were ready to rescue the students. Shadow Garden secretly observed the situation to wait for Shadow's orders. Then we see Cherry, and she was trying to decode the artifact to save everyone. 